we have officially lost all sanity in Britain as food experts are now going to be banning office cakes because eating cake in the office is as bad as smoking in the office. Okay, I have to be honest that when I first heard this story earlier, I genuinely thought it was a joke. You really can't tell these days on the internet if something is a, is a meme or is fake news or not. But no, this is actually a serious update. Office cakes. <laughs> Office cakes are so bad for you now. They are as bad as smoking indoors. Now, this isn't really about a free choice. It's not about your individual ch choice when it comes to you wanting to buy and eat the cake. It's about the fact that if you have the cake in the office, like secondhand smoking, <laughs> it will affect all the others. And yeah, okay, so this is a professor, Susan Jepp. <laughs> oh my God, okay. So she came out to say that we all like to think that we are rational, intelligent, educated people who make informed choices the whole time and we undervalue the impact of the environment. That was the first part. So she basically says, but we're not. We're not smart. We're not educated. Everyone is stupid. She then says, if nobody brought in cakes into the office, I would not eat cakes in the day. But because people do bring cakes in, I eat them. Now, okay, I have made a choice. But people were making a choice to go into a smoking pub. Okay, Susan Jeff, maybe you have a problem. Maybe you should just ignore the cake that you see in the office. Stop eating cake. You're almost forcing you to eat the cake. Also, <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. This is also I mean, very much um, bad news for people like Boris Johnson who love cakes and parties. Uh, but that aside, this is completely ridiculous. Right now, we have had a lot of people reacting to this uh, on social media, Twitter and everywhere. And uh, this one is actually quite interesting. Morgan uh, says, eating a cake won't make you fat. Eating two cakes also won't make you fat. But eating multiple cakes while <laughs> consistently being in a calorie surplus and never exercising will probably make you fat. It, that, it's just simple logic. Also, just completely over... Uh, consuming anything is bad for you so if you're going to do that then you're going to have to also ban um coffee because some people put sugar in coffee and anything really because it's a, it's only it's always about moderation and it is about nanny states or individual liberties because people like susan don't believe in the fact that pe people are most people are smart you know we in well all you can say that people have been given uh, the right information as they grew up. The moment people become 18, they know. All these kids in school, parents, TV, everywhere, they know sugar is bad. They know smoking is bad. They know alcohol is bad. But they can, they can still make free choice and go with it. And if you want to shift the blame on manipulation and marketing campaigns, yeah, but if you put the blame too much on messaging, then you are essentially shifting the blame. You are not taking any personal responsibility. Now, corporations and all these food companies, they can go around and start all these manipulation campaigns and the advertising. They can do that. But you have to fight against it. Control your urges. Stop falling for it. And we can still have regulation to make sure we know it doesn't go too far. But at the same time, it stop this nanny state nonsense. Because one day they're going to be banning cake. And now they're going to be banning this and they're going to be banning that because in the name of your own safety, they're going to be saving you from yourselves. We want to live in a more um, healthy environment and world and society that's much better. But you do it through education. You do it through the culture. You do not do mandatory policies through a centralized government. It's absolutely idiotic. But people focus on politics of intention uh, rather than outcome. It's all about intention. So if I criticize this, they would say, so you want people to die, Maya. You, you, you're you in favor of these corporations doing adverts. You don't really care about health, do you? No, you're focusing on intent. We all have the intent. We all want to be healthier. But the outcome of what you are proposing, the nanny state, is nonsense. And it's not going to work. And there will be black market. People did. We're going to have dealers selling cake under bridges <laughs> and in parks. 
So it's absolutely crazy what these thing, uh, people think. Uh, the difference between politics of intention and outcome is very important. Use better methods. And let people live. Just let them do the whatever they want. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.